Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I've got a quick rundown of my top three most favorite concealers at the moment. I am kind of surprised by the two that I was able to add to like my top three list. And because I was able to add them after testing them out, wearing them over and over again, I figured, you know what? It's definitely time to give you guys my top three. Um, someone over on Instagram asked me and that's what kind of prompted this idea. Like. It's been a while and I've added two, so let's get right into it, okay? Every single one of these concealers, you are going to see me apply it on top of my Smashbox and Becca under eye brightening color corrector um, in the shade medium. And I'm gonna do that underneath my right eye. Underneath my left eye, you're gonna see the concealer by itself. I am gonna build these up just so that you can see how they look, like what kind of coverage they deliver once you build it up, but I don't build it up more than two times. I'm gonna set every concealer with my Oma Beauty Trip and Smooth setting powder, and I am gonna add a little bit of my Bare Minerals powder on top of it, just a little bit, because this is realistically like how I wear these concealers. And so I want you to see exactly what they look like with a color corrector, without a color corrector. And of course, paired with my current favorite setting powder, as well as a little bit of like, this is seriously one of my all time favorite products. Okay. All time favorite. So the first one up is the House Labs Triclone Skin Tech Concealer by Lady Gaga. I don't know what they put into this formula, but let me tell you, it is so, so nice. It is so super pigmented. It really, truly delivers a high, high level of coverage with and without a color corrector placed underneath it, okay? The under eye area ends up looking really nice and smooth. It's long lasting. I love the fact that she has so many different undertones and so many different shades to choose from. The two that I have, I do mix together. I have the shade number 20, which is light, medium peach, as well as this shade number 21, which is light, medium neutral. I love to have a peach undertone as one of the shades, just depending on how peach it is, right? Right. Um, a lot of concealer brands will come out with like peachy undertone concealers and depending on the brand it might look a little bit more peach or it might look a little bit more subtle like there's peach in there but it's very subtle so you can get away with using just the one shade that's like a subtle peach versus a really obvious peach um, this is a very obvious peach. This is, like I said, number 20 in the shade light medium peach. It's a very obvious peach, which is why I feel the need to mix in a little bit of my light medium neutral, which is shade number 21, just a little bit to, to kind of tone down the level of peachiness. But let me tell you, this color cracks so, so so nicely, okay? It absolutely highlights the under eye area. It conceals the under eye darkness. It lasts all day. And when I mix in a little bit of my shade number 21, it just brings it all together. For a little bit of extra coverage and a little bit of like highlighting underneath the eyes, I will add the Bare Minerals Concealer in the shade Summer Bisque. If you don't know what this is, if you've never heard of it, do yourself a favor, go into a Sephora, test it out, try it out. You can thank me later, okay? It adds such a beautiful, like subtle brightness to the under eye area and it also helps to conceal your dark circles because it does add a little bit of coverage. So anyway, moving on from House Labs, we have the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. Listen, I hear serum concealer, I think very light, minimal, barely there coverage, okay? That's just where my head goes because that's typically what we get. Not with this one. This one has really surprised me. With a corrector, without a corrector, it looks beautiful, beautiful underneath natural lighting. It conceals so, so nicely just by itself. Like it, it just, it truly, truly has blown me away. The amount of coverage, how light it feels, how smooth it looks, how like barely there it is. It's just, oh, it's such, such a good concealer. I wear this shade LBC, which is I believe shade number eight. Again, I believe this is supposed to have like a peach undertone, but it is so subtle in this formula that I can wear it by itself and it's not going to look excessively pink or peach underneath the eyes. It looks gorgeous. I'm just obsessed with it. Okay. Even my daughter noticed, and she is usually like one to give it to me straight. Okay. Like, are you testing a product mom? Yeah. It looks a little dry, 
or it looks a little cakey or that one i don't like that one as much as the last one she will give it to me straight when it comes to concealers it's definitely up here as far as standards and this one this one's been a great new addition uh and yeah i i can't believe that i've already replaced a couple of my top three with a couple that i've just recently reviewed i just i love when that happens because it gives us more options more brands to choose from i'm very very critical of what i put underneath my eyes and what stays and what goes these two have stayed and they're here for a while the last one on my list, as you guys probably guessed it, is my faux filter concealer from Huda Beauty. I don't think this one's ever gonna leave, but then again, I don't know. I did have the Tarte Shape Tape as my number one for years, so I don't know. It's gonna take a lot for any concealer to top the formula of the faux filter. I just personally love it. I love, that's what I'm wearing right now underneath both eye areas. It has a radiant matte finish, meaning that it is matte, but it's not gonna look matte. It's not gonna look excessively dry. It's gonna move with your skin. It's very, very flexible. It's very, very comfortable. I love the way that this looks up close under natural lighting. Of course, studio lighting makes everything look great, but trust me, under natural lighting, I've shown you guys what it looks like, and this is just, it's been in my top three since I reviewed it. So I, like I said, I think it's gonna take a lot for anything to replace this number one. Not to say that we can't replace it, right? But as of right now, those are my top three. I do have quite a few concealers that I am going to be reviewing during the next couple of weeks. So you're gonna see a lot of concealer reviews from me. I apologize ahead of time if that's not necessarily what you're here for, but that is what you are getting, okay? I have a color corrector from True Complexion. I have concealers from a brand that I just found at um, Target called Thread, okay? So I have those concealers coming up. I have another brand from the drugstore, Joa, which is a Korean brand, and I'm reviewing these coming up. I also bought the Tarte Shape Tape Radiant, so this one's also coming up. So I've just kind of given you a sneak peek of what's to come in the next few um, weeks. So make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of that. And with that, I yeah. That's the end of this video. It's a quick one. I'm really excited to share when I find something that works. And these three concealers have been working, okay? So thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this quick little top three of my favorite concealers video and that you found it helpful. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on these upcoming reviews as well as other videos that I do have planned. And don't forget to like, comment, and share as it goes a long way here on YouTube. It helps to support the channel. It really, really does. And I appreciate you so much for doing any of those three things. As always, take care, my loves, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah! Bye.